Hey YouTube, Blue and AF here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the Little Blocks mod for Minecraft 1.5.2. Now as you guys know, I have an older video on how to download this, but it's outdated since it's for Minecraft 1.0 or 1.2.5. And ever since I came back here to see if it's working, it's so much easier to download this mod than it used to be. So this link will be in the description. This is the mod creator's website, I believe. You're going to come over to mods, like right here, or up here, same thing. We're going to pick Little Blocks, which is the one we're going to download, and you hit download. Alright? So Little Blocks download. You look down here, playing solo or SMP, and these are the three things you need for this. You need the last Forge build, to the latest, Slime Void Lib, which is like his, um, it's like the bones of the mod. And then little blocks. So you just add fly it, download all three. I don't know why this one takes longer, but it did. And skip add here. Let's see, click here to continue. Another one, so we're gonna close out of these two. I already have finder open, and then we're gonna get to downloading Minecraft Forge and little blocks. Alright, those three downloaded. Now what you want to do is that you want to open up Finder, Library, Application Support, in your Minecraft folder, what we're going to do, I'm going to clean it out completely. So I'm going to drag it out here. Actually, stop. I'm going to rename it. Since I'm using the Void's Wrath, I will rename this to Minecraft parentheses Void. I'm doing that because one, I don't want to replace it with this one, and two, I want to keep this Minecraft folder. And what we're going to do now is we're going to close out of this. I'm going to put this in my Minecraft tools. Where I have all my Minecraft stuff set up. And we're going to open up Minecraft. What this does is that it forces Minecraft to re-download itself from scratch. So I'm going to put all my information in. And we are going to let Minecraft do its thing. It's going to download everything and it's going to see it like that. So... I'll come back to you guys when it finishes doing this. So Minecraft is up and running. We are currently in version 1.5.2. Single player, multiplayer. You'll notice that all of these are, they have been reset. Your, your render distance settings, your graphics, it's all been reset since you cleared out your Minecraft. It's like re-downloading it completely, like I said. So you're going to have to reset everything here. I'm just trying to change up the GUI. There it is. I like to have it at normal. But yeah, we're going to quick game. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come to Finder again. Library, application, uh, address, application support, Minecraft. This is a new one, 1.5.2. We're going to go to bin, Minecraft.jar, open with, the unarchiver. I have three because a glitch happened with recovering files and stuff. So what you're going to do now is that open Minecraft the folder you made you're going to open your downloads and you're going to open up Mi Minecraft Forge Universal 1.5.2 double click command A command C exit out of that click in here command V what we did there was select all copy all paste all this is da downloading Forge we're going to keep this open right there in the Minecraft folder while we re reload Minecraft. So we're going to come back here to bin. A bunch of new stuff is going to download here. Although, I did make a mistake. I have to rename Minecraft to .jar. Make sure you do that, okay? Your folder must have .jar. So we're going to close out of Minecraft and reopen it. Silly mistakes. See? Now it's going to do this downloading the file that it needs to download for Forge and this is probably one of the best modding tools out there like it makes that getting mods so much easier that it's it's insane instead of having to copy paste files or look for specific folders like you had to for the older tutorials it is incredible like all you have to do is put a file in a folder and that mod is loaded so once it opens, it might take a bit. Don't worry if it takes a while. 
Once this opens, you're going to see you have a new mods folder. And it will say Minecraft Loader Pack, Forge Mod Loader, and Minecraft Forge. So you're done here. All you have to do is come to bin again, go back. We have a new mods area. Open that up. Downloads. You want to put Slime Void Universal. Lib right there. I'm going to take out the one in parentheses because I don't need it. And I am going to add little blocks. So once I finish that, and once you reopen your Minecraft, little blocks will be downloaded. So you guys can enjoy this mod, you can play around with it. The way you download it will probably be the exact same thing for the mod's lifespan because it's so easy to do that it's hilarious. So, so yeah, it's just amazing that it's so easy to download this mod. And as you can tell, we're going to make a new world. We're going to put creative new world. And I shouldn't have enabled cheats, but you guys will see that they have some new things if you haven't been keeping in track with the mod. I usually set it up to... That's good. And we're going to come over here. Dirt. We're going to get some. We are going to open to land. We're going to make cheats on so that we can switch to creative. We do game mode 1. Actually, we don't have to change the survival. We're already in game mode 1. Game mode 0. We get little blocks 1. And it's so good. Like, now you can actually see where you're selecting. And left clicking, you just break the block. Right clicking, it will activate little blocks mode. And you can place blocks as you really would. You can place little blocks. Very little blocks. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty simple for a mod itself. I mean, the mod, yeah, the installation is pretty simple. I love the mod, though, since you can make things like this. Look at my beautiful dirt tower. Isn't that amazing? Look at the detail. Well, I like that you can use redstone with this. It's probably my favorite part of this mod, since you can use redstone, and it actually works. Like, you can connect small redstone to no more redstone. As you can tell, if I connect small redstone to big redstone, Crud, one second. It's a big redstone. Let's see, will it work? I thought it worked. Well, maybe it doesn't, or maybe I'm wrong. You guys tell me. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video itself. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment about what you thought. If you want, you can also subscribe to see more content like this. I'll check you guys later. Remember to leave a like, like I said. Comment, feedback is always appreciated. I always want to know what I can do better and what I did wrong. If you have any questions, comments. Check you guys later.